Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Walk, but welcome back to FTL, or Faster Than Light. Oh, continuing on where we left off from last time, we're doing really, really well, in my own opinion, of course, but of course, we've done well, really well in the past, and then failed miserably, but, so, I'm not going to say too much more about it, let's just jump on into it. Let's head to the stress beacon. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread uh, virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to, to contain it, uh, but a riot has broken out. Uh, I'm going to, from this point forward, I probably, I mean, we probably could get another crew member, but I'm just going to ignore the request and move on. Unfortunately, your mission is too important. You are not willing to risk your crew. You're prepared to move on. All right, here we go. Oh boy. A rookie rock cargo ship has taken its orders to too literally and took the most direct route from to their destination right through an asteroid field. They're confused and fire wild and fire widely as you jump in. Okay, so I'm glad we got two things so we can do hull laser on that one, burst laser on that one. Or vice versa. So let's make sure we hit both the shields and their weapons. As soon as ours is... Oh. Oh boy. If we can keep the weapons and shields down, we got it. The rock ship moves into a def defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem willingly to buy their lives. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. And I want to buy... Oh, we can't really do anything. Let's go to the store. Before we do too much anything, I want to go to the store. You come across a rock trading post. It's rare they deal with outsiders, but they need to sell their last bit of stock and will pay their dues for their transgression when they return home. Uh, let's see, sell. We really can't do anything else, so let's just buy a little bit of fuel. Get back up to 15. Let's go. Uh, I could just head to the exit. The, this one goes to the exit as well. I want to visit one more little area before we leave. A ship uh, refueling station is stationed near this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Buy six for 12, three for six, one for two. We just bought fuel, so ignore the station. Okay, let's head to the exit. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon when the FTL drive is ready. Uh, drive is charged. You can jump to the next sector. Not much remains in this abandoned system. However, scans reveal a nearby mining platform with some salvageable materials. We got one, one fuel, one missile, and thirty-two scrap. Nice, nice. I am going to go. Let's see. We can get the three points. I am going to buy another bar of power. So we can put it into our engines. That gives us a little bit better maneuverability. Uh, dodge level 3 gives us 15 dodge. And FTL charges 1.5 times faster. Ooh, there's a store here. But let's just get out of here. And head to the NG Homeworlds civilian sector. You arrived at NG Space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG Core world. But you should be able to stock up your journey. Nice. Hopefully we'll get an NG, NG uh, crew member. Let's see. Let's try to plan this out. We, we go that way. So we can also go this way. Yeah, let's go that way. So let's hit the store first. Hopefully there's something we can buy. I doubt it with 22 credits. But an NG ship hails. Engine upgrades necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Long range scanners, repair arm. There's not really much 
we can. I mean, we need to save up. So let's just close this and jump. A mantis f a vessel flashes past your view screen. Weapons and engines at full. A tiny blip on the sensor readout marks its quarry. Aid the civilian ship. You frown, power up those weapons, and prepare for engage the mantis ship. Not today. Alright, so burst laser their weapons, hull laser their shields. I want to make sure. Two times damage on systemless rooms. Maybe we should probably aim at. like that? Yeah, let's aim at systemless rooms. Just keep their keep their weapons down and then bombard them with the hull laser. Alright, get that engine online. Get the or get the weapons back online, please. Oh boy. Take out their Keep those engine or uh, weapons offline, boys, because they got missiles. Ow. He's got the weapons back up, so let's power the whole laser back up. Aim at their a systemless room. Hopefully we get their shields down. Alright. Keep their missile down. That's all I ask. Oh boy, I did a lot of damage. There we go. The Mantis ship breaks apart. We got two, two fuel, one drone, and 45 scrap. A tip to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remaining of the ship. Ah, oh, poor guys. All right, everybody, end here. Let's start repairing. Alright, you, Vincent, get over here. Shit, Steli, get over here. Gaffin, oh, really, I can't remember my crew members. Gaffin is the Helms guy. So, Gaffin, you get back on Helm, please. And Skelly, I think you are Steli. He's weapons, okay. So much mean Vincent is engines. No problem. Let's go. Um, let's jump this one. You're immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon the arrival. Welcome to Uncle Joe's fix it Shop. Need a tune-up? We got you covered. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your piloting, pilot, piloting subsystems in exchange for some scrap. Hey, there we go. You let the team work on the board. After a short time, they finish their work. Nice. So now we have uh, level two in control uh, flight uh, in the in the helm. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, a store. We have eighty scrap. Hopefully, we can buy something good. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hat. Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. We can get drone control, but we probably need to, yeah, fix it all. And we probably could do a breach missile or a halberd beam, but I think we're probably pushing it up basically on our power. So let's probably put more of our points into our ship. Subsystems, uh, probably could do with maybe two points into shields. Get another bar of shield, that would be nice. Let's see, go ahead and do 50. Yeah, accept that. And then basically when we get enough scrap now to buy a couple of bars of power, let's see, can we do this? Yes, we can, okay. What happens if we do one? Not enough power. Okay, so it has to be two. Fair enough. So we probably could take... Basically, when we're not using our medical room, 
we could power it down to give us all, give ourselves a, a, another thing of shields. So that's a nice thing to do. So hopefully we'll get enough scrap here in a little bit and upgrade our power one more time. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it on board. Seriously, I should have bought the drone thing. Well, we got their scrap now. So let's buy our power, power down our our uh, med bay because we don't use it at the moment because everybody is full yes yes and yes so now we have two bars of shields awesome so let's head over here a federation encryption signal is broadcast from a nearby planet it could be a trap let's move on I'm going to play it really, really safe. I want to get to the end of this. I seriously want to get to the end. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is, you can go to the next sector. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll play gladly for them. Um, you know what? I will sell five missiles. Because we're doing really good on weapons right now. I will sell five missiles for 15 scrap. There we go. And we could turn around and put that scrap back into our engines or whatever have you. Let's see, subsystems. Uh, we always have somebody piling, piling in it, but we could uh, probably just save our money for the next store. Equipment, crew. Yeah, let's just, we do have this now, so if we ever do get the money to come across the shop uh, let's see do we want to go to Zoltan or either where is Zoltan homeworlds or Zoltan control either way we'll have to go through hostile sector so I want to take my chances at the homeworlds yeah we got an achievement just getting started we unlocked the NG cruiser fantastic you're not far from Federation home space here in Zoltan territory and it's not clear whether the authorities will have goodwill remaining Still, you have to push forward. Congratulations. By making it to the fifth sector, you've unlocked the NG playable ship for the future playthroughs. We're going to have to check that ship out later. All right. Oh, boy. Let's see. Are we we can jump there, jump there, jump there. Okay. So let's head to the store. Hopefully 33 scrap means a lot. Maybe, maybe not. Advanced FTL navigation. Allows the ship to jump to any previous visited beacons. That's a nice thing to have. What's on page two? Oh, can we? We can sell our Artemis and, and buy a crew member if we wanted to. Oh, that. Yes, I do want this. So. We're not using our Artemis anymore. Although, let's see. How much is this worth? 15. That'd give us uh, 48. Yeah. We got this for free. I don't plan on getting any drone systems anytime soon. So let's sell this. And let's buy this crew member here. Alright. So, Vincent, please go to Shields. Our new guy, he goes to uh, engines. I think I had that. Cr I think I had that right. So let's double check our crew. He's good on engines. Our Vincent was, but it's okay. He'll be manning the shields now, because uh, Mr. Weston here already has max. Uh, if you can see off on the right hand side, he already has max uh, engines. So there we go. There we go. So, doing good. Doing good. Now our shields will regenerate 10% uh, faster. You discover a number of Zoltan civilian ships flying off, uh, fighting off pirates. Unfortunately, one ship makes mistakes your purpose and moves into attack. They are refusing all communications. You have no choice but to fight. Aww. Okay. So, burst laser their weapons and then hold laser their systemless room. We may need to sacrifice the extra damage and go... Yeah, let's do for shields. 
yeah, we need to, to get their shields. Oh, they ioned our shields. Ow. Uh, and they broke in the door. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. They keep ioning our shields. Get in there, Mr. Vincent. See if you can put that fire out. Go ahead and throw one point into our med bay because we're going to be using it here in just a second. Okay. Stop ioning our shields, sir. Come on, Vincent. Get that fire out. Get into the med bay. Keep those weapons down, boys. All right, he's good. Go, go take care of this fire, please. Oh. That's too much fire. Uh, can I, I? I'm not able to manually. All right, let's get see if I can get him in here. Fix the doors fast. Can you fix the doors fast, please? Oh, wow. That was a big hit. Uh, get back. Oh, so bad, so bad. All right, everybody take care of, get that O2 back online. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful materials. We got two fuel, two uh, missiles, and 46 scrap. So hopefully we can get everything fixed. All right, so guys go, no, we need to get that fire out. Get the fire out, please. Go, 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 get the fire. Before it does any more damage to the ship. There we go. Woo! Alright, everybody get in here and repair. Getting everybody to repair, even though in turn it does it does in you know reduce each individual experience that each one of them gets. They all get the experience, though, and then once they become better at uh, fixing stuff, then they're able to fix it faster. So let's power back up our shields. Oh, yeah, take it out of med bay and put it in our shields. There we go. And we probably could buy another power bar to keep from having to do that. But I want to improve our doors. Uh, blast doors it says allows remote opening and closing of the doors upgrade to blast doors that impede fire spread and intruder movement yes give me that fantastic so now we should be able to have no fear of fires anymore so do I want to go down here or do I want to go up there let's go here There must be one of the Rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around him. A fight. Oh, and he went invisible. Eh, I can't really scan it or do anything until he comes out of stealth. There we go. So, burst laser his weapons. And there's no systemless stuff, so let's just aim at the shields. Knock those shields out. Oh. Our weight on that, Vincent. Go take care of the fire.
Oh boy. Right, get back on get back in the med bay. Uh let's take Take it out of O2 for a second, get him healed up. They're not gonna lose enough oxygen to make it make any difference because as soon as he's full health, I will pause, switch it back out. There we go. Get back on shield, please. Awesome, awesome. Micromanagement, 38 scrap. And look at that, store. We're gonna have to repair. The Zoltan are uh, fascinated by other species and have set up something at an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? 57. Mm. We're going to have to fix as much as we can, honestly. At least get back to green and then buy up to, buy up to that. I hate to spend that kind of money doing that, though, but... Uh... Buy their last fuel and then fix up the rest of the way. We took a lot of damage. Let's just, let's get out of here. We're so close. So close. Let's just jump out of here and go to the Mantis Control. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that is known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole plating is, is up for to the scratch and you must have enough fuel to make it through here i think we have enough fuel so let's go this path yeah let's go down here you pick up an automated message from a nearby space station there appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships inquire about their specialty they offer to upgrade your reactor in exchange for some scrap. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the, the money for that, so... That would have been nice, getting a free bar of power. Or, essentially, for 20. Uh, you find a rebel automated scout floating near the beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Don't risk it, just strip it for anything. Uh, yeah, let's just strip it. Get the, get the scrap. Go to the store. Identifying a Mantis trade post ahead, you signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap? Quickly, come dock before the warriors see you. Uh, and we can actually... F <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We can actually finish repairing our hull. So now we're up to max. And we need to buy some more fuel. So let's go... You know what? Let's try out the Distress Beacon. I may regret it, but let's try out the Distress Beacon. You you locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread. You know what? I wanted to help, but uh, I can't risk my crew members. We have such the perfect crew right now. Scan reveals a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may have discovered something useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Um, explore the asteroid field. You have to, uh, upon an abandoned mining site, a few mining drones were left behind and you could be repurposed. 61 scrap. That was a risk well worth it, in my opinion. So let's jump to the next sector. Civilian sector either way, so let's go here. Welcome to the new sector. Get to exit beacon and jump to the next sector before per uh, uh, pursuing the rebels catch you. Okay. So have we have no choice but to go to the distress beacon. Once you arrive at the location of the distress beacon, call a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we could, you can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Lead them to their destination. We got 32 scrap from that. And it's one sector, one little jump away. Perfect. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for their help. They give you give us two missiles, one uh, drone part, and 85 scrap. Oh, wow. Is there a store nearby? Indeed there is. I was going to upgrade the ship, but then always make sure you look for the store. 
A ship engi engineer has set up a shop nearby. Okay, let's look. We can buy another burst laser. In exchange for a hole laser. That might work. It's on page two. Do they have drone control? Indeed they do. And we could do... We can actually set up a drone system if we wanted to. Defense drone. Or a combat drone. I mean, we do have 11 drone parts. Mm, we could buy cloaking. Cloaks the ship, adding 60 to your evasion and preventing the enemy ships from locking onto their with their weapons. Hmm. Oh, we're low on fuel. So let's, let's buy all their fuel. So we're back up to 10. We can still purchase the burst laser. I might actually do that. That way we have three shots. Because three for two, you know, requiring two power, that's a good deal. Honestly, that's a really good deal. And we probably could do... Oh, we could buy another crew member. Oh, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. And this one comes with a defense drone Mark 1. Let's just buy this crew member here. Let's see, what does he have? 10% faster. Let's just buy this crew member here. And we still have 112 left. Yep, I'm just gonna buy the burst laser. Switch it out. I have two burst lasers. Uh, Gaffeen, go there. Buy another bar of power so I can put it into... All our systems can be powered now. We have a master helmsman now, as you can see here, and we have a 10% invasion uh, manual thing. So, hmm, where are we gonna do? What can we do? We could put him on cameras, on our subsystems. Plus one system level. So we can actually, what we can do, what, what does that do when we have an extra sub? We can see the enemy interior. All right, what happens when we get this one manned? Uh, we get improved blast doors, which does... Actually, yeah, just come over here to the doors. I really don't care to see inside their ship. I mean, I, that, I could do that. I used to do that. Actually, you know what? That could be fun to play around with. Because you just aim at the, at the parts of the ship where, they're in, where the enemies are concentrated. And you can kill them, essentially. <clears throat> the beacon is uh, patrolled by an unmanned scout. A fight is un unavoidable. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now we have two burst lasers. Uh, we can't really do anything until uh, he comes out of cloak. All right. So here and well, he doesn't look like he has any shields. So let's aim at our at his cloaking device, so that way he doesn't he's not able to cloak anymore. Oh, yeah. Let's just open these doors. Whoa. Get that fire taken care of. Come on, guys. Fire that away. There we go. Close these doors. Keep him from cloaking. Doing a good job. Doing a really good job. Yep, oh, he's dead. 64 scrap. Goodness. Oh, you get it done right as I sent somebody in there to help you. Alright. So, let's go this direction to the exit. I want to try to visit as many places as I can before we leave. A Federation encryption signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Uh, it could be a trap. No, I'm not. Uh, let's go to the store. I'm not going to take any risks. 
Sometimes the risks pay off, but I'm not going to take. There's only one ship at this beacon and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and now forced to sell our remaining valuable uh, equipment to require necessary supplies to get home. Uh, let's see. We get an automated reloader. Cooldown between weapon, weapon shots is improved by 10%. Ooh. That's nice. Yeah, I actually will buy that. And then buy some fuel. We got 22 left. Is there anything we can buy? Not really. So, just, just so you know what we just bought. We bought a augment. Which allows our, ships, our, our weapons to recharge 10% faster. So, that's nice. Alright, here we go. Um, I think we have time to get rid of this one. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid you in your escape. Small bomb. Requires one power. It requires missiles. We can trade it out for the Artemis, which I'm going to. And let's see what we can do. Oh, cancel. Can we buy one bar power? Uh, actually, we'll have to put a point into weapons. I'll just, I'll leave it for now. Leave it for now. Let's jump to the exit. We don't really have enough scrap. When we do, I want to do both at the same time so that way we can actually make good use of it. You're at the long range beacon. Uh, a ship with conspiracy. Uh, Conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting near my moon, broadcasting a simple, uh, simple me message, claiming to have equipment for sale. Uh, hail the ship. The uh, ship responds, "Yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares." Because we have a slug, we can actually have a alternative thing we can do here. The slug is a sir. We can dock, but I sense there would be better plan on making a purchase. I said that we better plan on making a purchase, okay? A human is an inquisitive suit meets you on board. Welcome to my ship. We specialize in drones of all kinds. Can I interest you in any? Um, apparently our slug says we need to buy something, so I, I, I have no choice but to buy the drone parts. Let's just get out of here. The last stand. We got an achievement. Federation base in range. Achievement unlocked. Technophobia. You arrived at the outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get past the initial security, and an officer sets up a direct fee to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain your mission. You ex your explanation is met with a murmurs of uh, cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying their fl this flagship. Your cur uh, current outpost can be provided for some repairs and fuel, and other uh, repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. We get 10 fuel for that. And we have to pretty much go to, and this is just a game of cat and mouse now. We actually have to catch up to the Frebel flagship and take it out. So, let's see, this is the base. I don't think we need repairs. So let's jump up here. Because I think the repairs are only a one-time thing. A number of large transporters are being uh, pursued by the rebel bombing squad. One bomber has managed to slip through the defensive fire and is poised to the wreak havoc among the enormous yet vulnerable transports. There is time to, for you to advance and take it out. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. You move into intercept. Continue. Okay. He's got three shields, so we want to make sure we keep those shields off. 
Uh. Keep both shields alive, boys. He just took out our med bay. Come on. Come on, at least one of them hit the shields so we can get it down. Ah, uh, we keep hitting our weapons. That's okay though. But that 10% weapon recharge speed is really, really helping us right here. The enemy ship appears to be powering up his STLs, trying to get escape. Uh, no. Come on, get the shields. Once we knock out their shields, we'll be able to... There we go. Let's change this one to their... Ah, oh, he escaped. Drats. And it says the flagship will destroy the Federation base if it spends three consecutive turns there. The red floating flagship icon indicates the position. When the jump in line from this ship is solid, it will jump to the indicated beacon uh, on that turn. Repair stations partially repair for free. So we need a we need a haul tail over this way. Can't really go there yet. Shots fire uh, fly by your port window, followed by a rebel scout in pursuit. A damaged cruiser. Should we move into gauge? Oh, yes. All right. Come on. We got to get some of this going. We still have a busted med bay. Oh boy. Get in there. Uh, something tells me we should have stayed. Should have stayed away. We just lost a crew member. Is my is my stupidity going to get wind up causing us to be not get this Oh my goodness. Man, he fires fast. I am upset. I am severely upset. That I should not. I sh I should have kept my own vice. I should have. I shouldn't have played devil's advocate there. I should have just left it alone. I should have just went after the big ship. But then again, I would have to think that if this guy took me out, the big ship would have for sure, because the big ship, the Federation flagship, it is. I remember fighting it back in the day, I don't know how much has changed, but I remember fighting it back in the day, and it you had to be on top of your A game to do, you know, to, to fight it. So if something like this took us out, I don't know what to say. Maybe, maybe next time we'll do this and we'll get through it all the way, hopefully, hopefully. But thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Sorry we lost for the third time in a row. I'll try to make it up to you. I'm trying to get, you know, try to get some wins under us. But we did unlock the NG ship. So next time we're going to take a look at the NG ship. And hopefully that'll be a little bit better. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, see you later.